just when you thought you'd chosen your next car. Meet the Kia Cerato S Automatic with wireless Apple CarPlay and a fresh new look from just 27,490 drive away. Your move. K Rock News. 40 weeks. Click Frenzy Sale on now. One or two showers tomorrow, heading for a top of 14 degrees, broadcasting on water or wrong country. Hi there, it's Will with the latest update. The father of the two young children who died in a Carayo fire says he's heartbroken. Kay McGregor's four kids were playing in a small garden shed on Sunday when a blaze started. Three-year-old Sage and 18-month-old Ashlyn couldn't be saved, while four-year-old Isaac and six-year-old Mavis are still in ICU. Mavis is stable, Isaac not so much. He was stable and now his kidney and liver are showing signs of failure. So far, more than $40,000 has been raised on a GoFundMe page for the family. A motorcyclist has been killed after they collided with a truck in Kui Rup. The collision happened around half past ten this morning. The yet-to-be formally identified rider died at the scene. The truck driver stopped at the scene and wasn't injured. A Wyndham City Councillor says a freight logistics hub proposed for Little River represents a failure of government. Josh Gilligan says the 500 hectare project for Pacific National should be in Truganina. He says governments should have been working to make that happen. Every government report that I've seen in relation to inland rail and freight has said that the Truganina site is the priority for Melbourne's west. A teenage girl has been injured in a stabbing in Melbourne's northwest. Police and paramedics were called to a home in St Albans at about one o'clock this arvo. A 17-year-old was taken to hospital in a non-life-threatening condition, while a 14-year-old girl was also taken to hospital under police guard. The Red Cross says blood demand's increasing and there's a reserve shortage of the O Group. The services Steph Reynolds says around half of Geelong locals carry one of the blood types and there's almost 800 spots to be filled locally. Despite the fact that more people are donating than ever before, this year we've seen a hospital demand for blood increase by 3%. And winds are easing across Geelong and the surf coast after a blustery day across most of the state. A cool change is now on its way as we get set for a chilly finish to the week. The temp will start to drop soon and Geelong isn't expected to get above 20 degrees until the weekend. Awaken your senses. The all-new MG5. Turf, ancoturf.com.au. Well, First Immortal remains the strong favourite to take out the Geelong Cup, ridden by star jockey Jamie Carr. The $500,000 race starts at 4 o'clock tomorrow, Arvo. Thousands will flock to the Geelong race course despite the expected wet and cold conditions. Aussie coach Ange Postacoglu is continuing to break records in the EPL. He's now got the most points of any manager from their first nine matches in charge following Tottenham's 2-0 win over Fulham. It lifts them back to the top of the table, but Ange isn't getting ahead of himself. I've been around long enough to know the game will, will bring you down pretty quickly if you if you go away from those kind of principles. They're on Optus Sport and Sam Kerr's touched down in Perth ahead of the Matildas Olympic qualifiers. The captain ready to lead the team against Iran, the Philippines and Chinese Tapai. K-Rock weather. Mimosa Homes. Luxurious free upgrades with their home advantage promotion. Wind easing and partly cloudy for the rest of the day across Geelong and the surf coast. A couple of showers tomorrow, top of 14 degrees, and a shower or two on Thursday, top of 15. Right now in Geelong, it's 20.